Coming up, UI students take one in the arm in the name of immunity. And later, bars are back, but is business booming? Welcome to DITV Now, your flash update on all the biggest headlines coming out of the Daily Iowa Newsroom. I'm Michael Merrick. And I'm Lauren Johnson. UI students are finally rolling up their sleeves for the COVID-19 vaccine. Dentistry students were first in line to be vaccinated at the clinic. Now, vaccines are going out to medical education research facility. Students and nurses are wrapping up giving out vaccines to the rest of the first priority students. We were planning to do over 500 and I'm pretty sure we did over 500 on those two days. The process was simple. Students checked in, got the shot, and then waited for 15 minutes to make sure there was no reaction. Typically, the only reaction is a sore arm. Student teachers and other essential on-campus workers will be vaccinated next. General students have a long wait before getting their doses. We're really anxious to get to general students as well, but I don't anticipate it's going to be very soon. I mean, I'm hoping by the end of the semester. A totally vaccinated campus could bring life back to some kind of normal next semester. We'll continue to monitor the UI's instructional format plans. The start of the semester usually brings new energy to Iowa City's nightlife scene. DITV reporter Elizabeth Neruda and I found out if students are still partying downtown during the pandemic. The bar scene in Iowa City has been changing lately, with Governor Kim Reynolds opening them back up last semester, despite COVID concerns, and now the vaccine rollout easing some tensions about the late night trips to the bar. I talked to some students about whether downtown will ever get back to its pre-COVID status. Definitely gonna, definitely gonna have a huge boom after COVID's over. Some students felt they would not be comfortable going to the bars until more people are fully vaccinated. I mean, the vaccine is already kind of being distributed. Um, I don't think it'll be very quickly that everybody is having it, that it'll be circulated. And it seems that there's a lot of irresponsibility with how the bars are being used now. Um, and so I don't have much hope for that to change in the near future while others have been seeing firsthand the possibility of a vaccine is making many feel right back at home in the lines outside the bars. I think it's pretty evident, like a lot of people are more out and about, not just at the bars, but like downtown in general. Like I went to Poncheros like yesterday and it was just like packed galore. While people aren't sure how long it will take, students are hopeful that the Iowa City bars will eventually return to their former glory. I think it'll be a while. It's going to I don't think it'll be anytime soon, or at least not before the semester's over. As students have only had one weekend back in Iowa City so far, we will have to wait and see whether the crowded streets of downtown are coming back for good. From Iowa City, Elizabeth Neruda, DITV. Hawkeye guard CJ Frederick is back. The sophomore was out with a lower leg injury, but he came off the bench hot. After an action-packed first half, the Hawkeyes came out on top and led the Spartans 48-43. It's no surprise that center Luca Garza led the team in scoring. However, sophomore Jack Nunji also dominated on the court and scored 11 points in the first half. So proud of Jack Nunji. He was, he was awesome in the first half. He really, really did a great job and, and helped carry the load offensively, and it was great defensively and rebounded the ball really, really well. In the second half, the Hawks came out strong. Garza led the team in points, scoring a total of 27 points in the game. The Hawkeyes defeated the Spartans with a score of 84 to 78 and advanced to a 13 and 4 record on the year. The Hawks will play at home against Ohio State Thursday, February 4th. The UI Color Guard Club just got an upgrade. The group has been relabeled as a sports club. This gives the club special privileges, which DITV sports reporter Destiny Cook says the club hasn't been able to take advantage of. Tossing their flags into the new semester, Iowa's Color Guard Club is now a sports club, meaning better practice spaces and funding for their club. But the club hasn't seen any of these benefits due to COVID restrictions set in place for in-person practices and events. It didn't uh, benefit us, but we're at least starting to get into that sports club um, position. So hopefully next year um, we are able to be uh, more involved in that and get to meet in person. The semester hopes for in-person practices are in the works for Color Guard at Iowa's Fieldhouse, but with high restrictions, it is not easy for the team of 20 to only practice in smaller groups to follow COVID-19 policies. Like we can try to maintain social distance, but we can't put on 
a performance together. So COVID has kind of ruined that this year. Color Guard found ways last semester to stay involved taking part in the virtual homecoming parade. But due to COVID, funding for their club was cut this year, canceling their future plans. We were just going to have our own little show, uh, and that was going to kind of promote us within like the student body here. Um, so I think that kind of hurt us a little bit when we didn't get a show off like what we've been doing. During a difficult time, the club is still optimistic about improving their team's performance, keeping the team as interactive as they can while making the switch into a sports club. From Iowa's Fieldhouse, Destiny Cook, DITV. Good news, Iowa City. Today will be warmer than usual. Temps will reach a high of 36 degrees. We'll see cloudy skies during the day and rain throughout the night. Temps will dip to 33 tonight as well. Thanks for tuning in to DITV Now. We'll be back tomorrow with the latest from the University of Iowa, Iowa City, and Hawkeye Nation. From Iowa City, I'm Lauren Johnson. And I'm Michael Merrick. Have a great day.